Hello, this is a quick tutorial just to show you how to use the layout tool in GraphPad Prism to combine uh, Prism derived graphs and uh, graphics from another program. Uh, in this instance, we're going to use a graphic we've created in PowerPoint. Um, so here is one of our graphs, and there's another one of our graphs, and we want to combine these with another graphic to make a figure. Um, I would suggest you resist the temptation of copying each of these into PowerPoint and doing it in PowerPoint because Prism has a much better export function for saving publication. Um, so the quickest thing to do is actually to use Prism. So if you go to the Layouts page, which is a page which is visited less by uh, people who make graphs than any other page in this program, um, you can double click on the outside and choose a basic layout. Since we have two graphs and a bit of graphic we're going to bring in, we're going to choose uh, the four graphs per page and then delete two of the options. So we've got our positioning here. I want to put a figure up the top here, a graphic. I want two graphs down the bottom, so I can just double click here, choose the two graphs. That'll do for the moment. And I can label these A and B, but we'll do that in a second. Um, these two boxes at the top are redundant, so I can just click on them and choose delete. Click on that one and choose delete. Now the graphic we have is in PowerPoint, so I'm just loading PowerPoint up. There it is. It's basically a graphic that describes the um, the formation of uh, the, the second graph there. So we can select that graphic. It's already been grouped. I can uh, copy it, press Control C. Um, so Control C. I can then go back to Prism. So hide that out of the way. Click up here. And the best way, as is always the case with these programs, don't just press uh, Control V and paste it in. If you choose Paste Special and paint uh, an enhanced meta file, you'll uh, keep the best quality you can in the graphics, and then you can expand that and nicely fit it in into the space, which is uh, which is great. Uh, and we can put our A's and B's and C's. So let's uh, label this one A and make it a little wee bit bigger. That's a bit too big. That's uh, a bit too big too. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it uh, 28 point. That's good and it's automatically bold so control C control V to copy and paste it pastes it in exactly the same place as the original graphics so I can just slide it down by pressing the um, shift key uh, and it keeps it aligned and I can rename this one B click on B control C control V paste a new one in and this time by clicking on the control key I can keep it uh, running horizontally and I can type on C. So now we've got our composite figure of A, B, and C. And this is where Prism really comes into its own. We can go to the File menu and we can export it. And now in Prism, which is something you cannot do in PowerPoint, you can export as all of these popular formats, including the PDF files that, uh, that these uh, journals like to send. Or you can just choose TIFF files, um, JPEGs, etc. But the beautiful thing is, of course, you can choose what resolution you want to export them in. Of course, our graphic we imported from PowerPoint will be in whatever resolution it was made in, which in this case I think is a 300 dots per inch uh, JPEG, which we've added some text to. But it does mean that the graphs in Prism will be exported at the maximum resolution, uh, which is what you want to do, and you can export that to your desktop and call it whatever file name you want. So that's the way I recommend doing figures. Um, it works very well. Um, the other option, of course, you want to put it into Word for a uh, for a thesis report, whatever. You can just select everything on the page, copy it, go into Word. There's Word. We can go paste special again, remember, and this time choose enhance meta file again. And there is our figure. Paste it in nicely from Prism. The quality is exactly the same as in Prism. It's an expandable uh, meta file, so you can make it any size you want without losing any quality. I hope that helps.